Okay, let's keep going here. We've got a few uh, notes here. Let's take care of this one note here. I was going to put an asterisk in here. What I really meant to do uh, was put a comment. I'm going to insert a comment. And this comment uh, is the easiest way to put a footnote into Excel. Uh, so this is um, added uh, 5K due to marriage. Uh, and then we just leave, whoops, we don't need that in there. We do this. And then if it ever pops up, you can just go, oh, that's what I did. So footnotes are very uh, helpful. The other thing we're going to do is get rid of this million dollar windfall while we're here. I'm noticing that. So that's not there. Uh, credit card, uh, we have to deal with this somehow. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, and kids' costs. So the next big thing that we have to talk about, we got through G. Uh, and now the next thing is uh, we want a house and we want to have children. Well, houses and children cost money. Uh, I also threw a vacation in here just as a placeholder. Uh, and we have to pay for our uh, wedding loan, and uh, we have uh, additional loans uh, that are here for the uh, student loans and so on, and we have a credit card that we'd like to get rid of. Well, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this credit card. So even though it was $200 a month here when we just got married, uh, we got married, and then the next year we got married, it's $200 here. Uh, I think what we should do is get rid of this credit card as soon as possible. Now, um, what did we say the balance was? Five thousand uh, dollars. So we had five thousand savings, five thousand in uh, um, uh, credit card debt. Uh, so we want to get rid of that, so we're not paying interest on it. So what I'm going to do is take the checking account down uh, another five thousand dollars to pay off that credit card. So when you look at the number here, uh, I already took it nine thousand down to pay for the. Um, uh, the wedding. Uh, the next year, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let that go for a year. And the reason I'm gonna let it go for a year is because I want some cushion uh, in cash. You know, cash is king. But the next year, you can look at we've got lots of cash coming in because we have uh, dually incomes uh, and we're not uh, paying a whole bunch of other things. So if this number is right, which is cash flow is nineteen thousand and we have six thousand. This next year we've got plenty of cash flow coming in, so let's uh, let's take the cash flow out of this. So we'll take this number down five thousand, enter, and then this number will go to zero, and this number will go to zero, and uh, this two hundred. I'm sorry, this two hundred was two hundred a month, so this is two hundred times twelve was twenty four hundred. Uh, that we're trying to pay it down. Uh, and obviously, in your case, you're going to have to go through a specific amount of money you owe and how much you're going to pay off and so on. Uh, we're going to go through this um, uh, just in round numbers. Uh, so the 2400 I left on the credit card for the first year of the marriage uh, because I want to make sure we had cash. The second year, over here at cash flow, I took out 5000 to pay off the credit card. And I'm going to make that another, uh, let me escape out of the scroll up so you can see. If you right click, go down to insert comment, and you can get rid of all the Microsoft stuff that's in there and just say um, uh, paid off credit card. Um, and so that's that takes care of that. So this 5000 goes away. So we can get rid of the yellow here. We took care of that. And um, we took care of this. So we have a note there. The little red triangles are notes. We want to look for those uh, to explain what happened. Uh, we added five to marriage. We paid off a uh, credit card. Um, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to amend this note to say edit comment and then paid off $5,000. Credit card, and that way we know what we did. Um, collectibles are still going up in value. We're going to extend this out another year. Uh, 401k, so on. So, so we're pretty good through here. Uh, student loans coming down. Everything else is coming down. We're paying those off. Uh, student loan, wedding loans coming down. Okay, the we have a lot of cash here, eighteen thousand, uh, but we need to save up because we want a house, and that's our goal.
So you can see how I'm working through this one at a time. The other thing that's going to happen is we're going to have kids. Now, kids require daycare. So daycare is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be at least, um, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Of, uh, uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't want to guess. Let's just say it's 200 bucks a week. Um, 200 times 50 weeks is about $10,000. Let's just round it up to $1,000 a month. Uh, so we're going to put kids' costs in here, and we're going to have our first kid, and we're going to put in $12,000 for the kid. And the next kid, we're going to go over a little bit. We're going to say two years in, we're at uh, $24,000. Well, $24, sounds like a just unbelievable amount of money. But it that's it's not that unbelievable if you've got if you've got child care. So... Child care could easily be five, six hundred dollars a month for each child. So the, the you know, I, I don't know what the numbers are in your area, but those are numbers that you have to seriously consider. And so, um, you know, that's that's you know, it's not unbelievable a, a child could cost you a thousand dollars a month, even when they're young. Uh, so we're gonna put that in there. Uh, the credit card uh, thing I took care of, so I'm gonna get rid of the uh, uh, shading. Uh, the car we have not taken care of, and the kids' costs. Uh, this is twelve thousand. In, incidentally, this is twelve thousand continuing. Uh, okay, so now our cash. This cash from the previous year. This is our starting cash. Uh, is not so bad, but our ending cash. We're going to take this out next year, which is ending cash plus this. Uh, in uh, cash so we have uh, quite a bit and, and then this next year we're losing let me escape out of this this year we don't have the 5,000 we're putting in there so we hit enter uh, and now we have uh, quite a bit of cash so we're doing good and we take that across to the next year and we got 31 so the 31,000 we have cash here is the 23 we have plus we're cash flow positive of $7,000 a month so that's good you can see our cash flow positive really hit um, uh, hit well here uh, when we got our uh, good job and started uh, saving all this money. We didn't spend any money here. And then, of course, when we have two incomes, it started to get even better. And now it's, uh, it's whoops, it's up here. It's starting to get even better here as uh, as we have dueling incomes. Okay, so I'm, I've gone plenty long enough let's start seeing if we can't move across the um, across the cells here so what's going to change well we've got our kids in there at a cost we've got our um, expenses in here at a cost uh, we're getting rid of our all of our loans uh, this is the end of the wedding loan uh, this vacation uh, we're gonna leave five thousand in for vacation we seem to be able to afford it uh, and our MBA loan goes on for 10 years, so one, two, three, four. We're going to take this out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's done. Uh, this was uh, 10 years, so we had, uh, this was the first year, 20, this was 25. So let's say you started your own payoff, your loan when you're 23. So at 33, it should be over. So this should be over at 33. So that's the end of that loan in your payments. Uh, what else? The kids keep going, and we're going to assume they, they cost you 1000 a month uh, for at least until they're out of uh, diapers. And 12, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're starting school, so that's one out. Um, uh, this is two kids, one, two, three, four, five, six years. Okay, so now the question is, after that, uh, you know, round numbers, what do we expect to for our children to cost, two kids to cost, that are going to school all day and do not have uh, daycare, so they don't have a sitter all day? Well, it's not going to be as much as uh, 2000 a month, uh, it could be less than that. So we're going to knock this number down to a little bit. Uh, we're probably going to knock it down to, say, 
eighteen thousand a year. Uh, we haven't saved for school yet, but it's eighteen thousand a year. It seems like a reasonable number, and we're going to take that uh, out to uh, the end of high school, uh, and that'll give us some sort of idea on how much kids cost uh, going forward. Uh, the uh, thing that else is going on here, let's see, we've got uh, this 2400 the cars. We have to deal with cars. Uh, so the end of payments here were cars here and car here. Uh, we were looking for a car uh, here every five years. I think we're going to extend that. Uh, this next car uh, payment was over, that $3,600 car payment was over, so that should be good for five years. This 2400 just ended, so that should be good for five years. So let's just take this car out and say, we'll clear this. And, of course, you're going to have to make this decision for yourself. But if we get rid of that car, the next car we're going to buy is here. And so this one just ended payments. This one just ended payments. Uh, this car will probably go, uh, well, let's move it back a little bit. Uh, we'll probably go here. So you got the payments over one, two, three, probably nine years in. That's not bad. We'll just grab this and move it over here. And uh, that'll give us another car. Uh, do we want to make a payment or do we want to pay in cash? This is a good question. I'm going to throw the 3600 in there, assuming you didn't save for it. And then that's a five-year payment. Uh, well, no, in this case, let's say it's a seven-year payment. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this car goes another five years. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five, six. And now we have another payment here. But now we don't want a $2,400 car. We want a $3,600 um, $3, year car payment. So we're going to double this and say this is 72 hundred and take it out to here and then we have two more years of 36 I'm just going to copy paste this in here and take it out one more step and so as you can see the $24 car payment stopped and then one two three four five years later we got a thirty uh, $300 car payment uh, towards our next car uh, this car payment started again, so this one stopped, and then we got one, two, three, four. We got a new three hundred dollar payment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that was that payment, uh, and then so you you can see how that's going to run through um, the rest of the uh, cycle, and that's your car payment. So uh, if you offset your cars here, you can you can get ten years out of them, and uh, maybe have a couple years without payments. So we have two years here without payments. So we should have two years here if we, every 10 years. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No payment, no payment. Now I have a new payment, 3,600. And no payment, no payment for the other one, 3,600. And now I've got the 7,200 again, 7,200 uh, for car payment. And that goes on for another five years, one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got the 3600s again. Whoops. And then we have the five seven thousands again. Um, I have not increased your car payment uh, or car payment uh, quality of your car here. If you wanted to upgrade that, you could. Uh, this just gives you an idea of what you're dealing with with uh, regard to cars. Uh, obviously, you could just pay more cash if you wanted to. Uh, let's deal with uh, what we have here. That's four years of 36 and five years of 72. That's kind of been our standard. Uh, so we'll do it once. Uh, in retirement, we'll do it again. Uh, and then maybe once last in retirement. Now we're 86 years old. That's definitely it. So let's uh, pay the last 236 uh, payments on the last uh, car, and we're done. Uh, so that's our car payment schedule. We've got that pushed all the way out uh, for the rest of our lives. Um, let's take our income. 
We've got to keep, uh, uh, is there anything else in here? House, uh, oh, houses, yeah, houses. Let's do houses next, uh, next video. Let's just take our income and work on it. Uh, so we have our jobs moving up at a relatively good pace. Um, I'm not going to change our jobs because they often don't change. In fact, I'm not going to change any of this. Uh, we're going to keep putting into our 401k at the same rate. Uh, we're going to take the same uh, uh, after-tax uh, amount. And we're just going to take this um, uh, numbers and um, move them across uh, down as we work through our lives. And hopefully this should work. Uh, 97, yeah, that looks like it works pretty good. Uh, so let's keep going here. And we'll go, kids are in college. Uh, no kids. No kids, no car. We get to retirement. Okay, so here we are at retirement. Uh, that seems to be uh, reasonable. I would think that our 401k would go up every once in a while. I would also think that our um, health insurance premiums will go up once in a while. Uh, uh, going on going forward, I don't know what those numbers are. You can adjust them as you see fit. Uh, that takes us out to uh, retirement. We're definitely going to have a, uh, a big column here. Um, let's go back and see if we can't get some of these other bills out. Uh, rent in a house. We're going to talk that quite a bit about that next. Um, I think that's what we should talk about next. So let's save that for the next video. Uh, we'll work on uh, getting our house and how we're going to handle a house uh, next. We've got a lot of our uh, income all the way out to... Um, to our uh, 67th year, this is retirement. Uh, we're earning quite a bit of money here, uh, but if you get down to um, uh, inflation rates, it's it's uh, quite a it's a 2058 in the future. Uh, so that's quite a long time from now uh, to be earning this. Uh, so let's uh, let's keep going in the next video.